This is Josh, APTV, rocking the range, backstage with my good friend, Frank Bello. Frank, how are we? We're better now. The stage is done. Uh, we had a great show. Thank you for oh. being there. It was, um, it was crazy. It was, you know, it's weird. You go on a concrete stage. We used to do like a wood stage on yeah. the Bull Tour. And you come out of these, these big festivals, concrete's a little harder on the back when you jump. So right now, I'm punching for a reason. <laughs> but it was a great show. The monitors were crazy. You know, they go in and out to what happens with festivals. The crowd was insane. 40,000 people out there, crowd bouncing around. Yeah, What's yeah. it feel like coming to Rock in the Range off, off, you know, off a current you know, theater run tour to kind yeah. of come in arenas, come in and then play like a festival show like that with Number a one, bigger crowd? Like, you know what's great about these things? You get to see everybody hang out. Yeah. We haven't seen each other in a while. Talk about kids, our families, all that stuff. But then the, the show, and you don't really get it until you get on the step, the first step on stage, you get that roar, and yeah. that's what you live for. That's exactly what we're here you for, get, man. You got the, the chills. You got the chills, and that takes it, no matter how the stage sounds, it may suck, may be good, but it just takes it, the adrenaline another, to another level. I'm so, like now, like you kind of drained. <laughs> you know, yeah. I just ate some dinner, so now I can, I can drink and get some free mar Marshall headphones. <laughs> Why, what are those? <laughs> what are those? Are those gonna, Marshall headphones? They're going to be very happy that we're showing these again. Oh my God! Yeah. So it's the perks. Are, the perks are cool. So uh, and tomorrow we go back right back to the Volby tour. So which has been a crazy great. So many people on that tour. Yeah. And um, you know we're making a lot of new Anthrax fans, man. Because a lot of the Volby fans have, maybe they heard of like a Radio World. And it's a Radio World, man. So for us to go and everybody at the end of the show, man, it has their hand in the air. That's what we need to do. And so. It's, it's a really great tour for us. Well, you guys have been friends with the Volby camp for a long time. Yeah. You know, now obviously Rob, you know. The beanie been, guy. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. The yeah. guy with the, wearing a ski cap in very hot weather. Um, has, has, uh, yeah, sure. Has gone over there. Um, I, th I would have thought they would have made him get a pompadour. <laughs> well, I think they're going to put a um, Volbini hat out, you know. <laughs> I love, you know, it's great. On the, on the Volby tour, the other night, dude, we had on the Volby bus, we had one of those drink nights, yep. and all the metal that we knew were on was very loud. Dude, it was so loud, and I think it stopped at 4, 4.30, something like that, but it was one of those great nights on the bus of what everybody knew, and Michael, Michael the singer, he was turning me on to like all these new songs I'd never heard before right. from some of the Swedish bands which, uh, and the Danish bands and uh, some, some great stuff. So I, it was just, it's a great vibe, it's very family-like on this tour. You would love it. You oh. would love it because you're a family guy. I am, I'm, I'm coming. I'm gonna, I'll come to the Hammerstein show. Absolutely. We're I'll looking forward the, to it. I'll bring the family. Bring the family. We'll, uh, we want to see the daughter, we'll, of you course. Have a, you guys have a heavy metal daycare uh, kind of set up? Yeah, it's called um, Parents, Aunts. This is a mosh pit. <laughs> they come to the side and then, you know, my, my wife goes, it's loud, oh my God, you know. When Anthrax plays New York, like, is your, like, is every Nudnik come out from the Bronx like, hey, Frankie, I need a ticket. You know? I well, grew up with a lot of people. Yankee Stadium must have been really insane. Oh, that, the Yankee Stadium alone, that, that guest list, I just said, look, we can't afford this. Yeah. <laughs> look, we, 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 we can't buy those. Uh, oh, yeah, dude, we, a lot of seats were bought, and um, we made no money, obviously, yeah, but, but it, was, it was the Yankee Stadium thing. You got everybody in and all that stuff, but New York is always a, a trouble thing for us to get people in. You, yeah. know? you guys have, you know, for, since the get-go, are kind of the New York metal band, and the yeah. cool thing for AP is, like, you know, over the years, you know, we've covered alternative music, hardcore, hip hop, yeah. all that. Kind of, you know, you came up at a time where all that was kind of bubbling up from from Run yeah. DMC and L Cool J to, you know, you had uh, Crow Mags and Gnostic Fun coming out of uh, CBs. Yep. And I feel like you guys were kind of taking all those influences and joining. What was it like? Coming up as a musician at that time in the, the kind of the mid '80s, uh, and, and being able to kind of experience all that music. I think we were very lucky to come up at that time. I think there was such a, a variety of music coming up, and everything. I mean, you're all sponges. Yeah. It just goes into your head, man. Uh, I mean, think about the Scott and I used to go to CBGBs on Sunday afternoons for the hardcore matinees. Right. That was a great time. I mean, I can't even as we speak. I can't believe there's no more CBGBs. I, I, you know. And we live in we live in New York, and I can't believe what New York has become from, from what it was in that beautiful music scene, and what it is now. It's like a really corporate kind of um, yeah. yuppie kind of takeover, and you know, I miss that. I miss that New York. I, I really do. But we we were very lucky to be. I mean, then the hip stuff, hip hop stuff came around, and that went into the sponge too. So I think whatever we put out, it's just that's coming out of the sponge, man. You know, so. I think we're very lucky that we came up the way we did. I do. Well, we just interviewed Tech Nine earlier, you know, and he's, um, you know, telling me how much he was a uh, he, he, he uh, did a song with the surviving members of the Doors, yeah. Corey Taylor, yep. you know, and and um, 
you have to give respect to you guys, you know, kind of Thank crossing you. over with Public Enemy and doing that. Uh, uh, that crossover that time that really was you know groundbreaking and um, yeah. you know uh, what was that experience like and uh, you kind of look back now and say like oh what, what did we start or did, did you realize at the time well I remember well Chuck Chuck D says it yeah. says it all we did it the right way and it's going to be hard to top that way and look it was just what people told us that it was breaking a lot of doors down and that's what it was about because music should be heard by everybody it shouldn't be any ethnicity or anything like that it's for everybody so. Um, I still love that. I still love what we do at Public Enemy. I would tour with Public Enemy today. Because, yeah. I mean, I still talk to Chuck. Chuck, we, we, you're watching uh, I, He knows that. Chuck, I see Chuck, so he's a great dude. We still contact each other, well, so. You know, that song brings up a great question. Bass, how low can you go? I can go pretty low. I can, <laughs> I can go pretty low, but yeah. It, that was a great time. And that tour, where everybody said there was going to be problems with uh, different uh, right. people coming out. And dude, that could have been, the, that was one of our favorite tours ever. Uh, that's why I would say it. I would do that in a second. Awesome, just good times. It's been a good run for Anthrax. The way I look at it, and we have so much more to give. When you hear the new record, and I have to shamelessly promote this, uh, we're gonna finish the Volby tour, go right back into the studio, finish some vocals up, uh, some lead guitar player, some lead guitar player stuff, and um, then start mixing, but we're in a, a really good place from the last record, from Worship, because thankfully, and thank everybody out there, uh, we, it, it really went over well. And I think we're in a good, I think we tapped a good vein. And uh, we feel really good about the next thing coming out, too. Back with Jay Rustin? Always. He's the fifth Beatle, man. Yeah, that's, cool. that's the way we look at very it. Cool. So he's the guy, he knows how to get it out of us, so let it happen. Now, finally, recently, you guys did a, uh, a cool song with uh, Game of Thrones. You like that? Yeah, it was very Dude, cool. how cool is it in this day and age to be a huge fan of a great show, and then they just come, HBO calls you, <laughs> hey, would you like to do a song for us? Uh, I couldn't say, you couldn't say yes fast enough. I mean, that was just, and you know what's crazy, I'll tell you. Charlie, Scott, and I all knew the song we would give them. Right. It was, I'm, the all three of us immediately, oh, oh, that one. We didn't have a title yet. We, we knew the song that was that was complete, and then we could write the lyrics on So Scott wrote the lyrics right to the song. It was so cool. perfect, well, and they loved it. You all pop culture junkies. Totally, yeah. Know, so that, yeah. That's Especially a great show. Dude, how, how much great TV is there out there right now? So Scott's on uh, you know, Walking Dead, which yeah. is another great show. And like, you know, and it's, and it's you have awesome. These guys, who all probably grew up Anthrax totally. and coming back and working with you guys. Hey, nothing wrong with, hey, if there's anybody other great, with other great shows that want to get us on, we'll do anything because we love that stuff. I, I love these shows that are going on. HBO's kicking butt right now, so. Orange is the New Black. I love that. Anthrax I, I, playing the women's prison. Hey, that show Girls, you, you, oh, yeah. dude, that show Girls is awesome, man. It's great, it's great writing. It's all good stuff. You just lost it, lost it after the fan base. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> the show Girls is a great writing. You should watch it, man. Give it a shot. I will. Frank, you rule. Always a pleasure. Same here, man. So good seeing you. Thanks for being coming backstage with us, rocking the range. Always. TV AP.